I love the packaging. I think that's just so... Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got my May favorites here for you today. So what I like to do in these videos is I go ahead and quickly mention my overall Friday favorites for the month. Um, so just a quick mention for those. If you want to see swatches of those products, definitely check out the original Friday favorites where I mention them. But then also I have other things that I like to share. So either other makeup-y things, hair care, skin care, randoms, books. So that's what I've got for you today. I've got some good things to share with y'all. So if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do favorites videos, new at the drugstore, get ready with me's, reviews, empties, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are chatting about May favorites. So let's get to it. Okay. So for overall Friday favorites, I would say for eyes, a few different things. First off, the Alter Ego Midsummer Palette. I love this. The packaging is beautiful. They did send this to me. Thank you so much to them for sending this my way. Look how gorgeous this is. Beautiful color story. I love the duo chromes in here. I have this on my eyes right now, layered with something else that I will mention to you next. But yeah, this is an amazing palette. Great formula, pigmented. Um, the mattes kind of have a silky formula, but they're pigmented and silky and they blend well. You don't have to build them up a ton. I mean, they're just a really nice, good formula. This is affordable and I, I love the packaging. I think that's just so, so pretty. It's amazing. Then for another eye favorite, I mentioned that I bought these under on Amazon under Erende, the brand Erende but they say something different on them, but I'll link them for you down below um, from the listing I got them from, but it says dreams, what? Dreams come true, believe in your dreams. They're little glittery shadows. This one is 04 Unique Style, and this one is 02, uh, or it doesn't even say zero. This is four Unique Style, and this is two Toasted Marshmallows. So I have this one on my lids, these are just beautiful, sparkly shadows, kind of like the Urban Decay Munda shadows, but they have more of a metallic base to them, but they're just really light catching and beautiful. I love these so much. Packaging is a little bit challenging to get into, so have yourself a pair of tweezers nearby to be able to open them up. But other than that, I like the look of the packaging and I really, really love the shadow. Okay, I've got a lot of cheek favorites. So I would say, gotta mention the Laura Geller Baked Bronze and Brighten and Fair, just because I love this for an easy cheek. I love it for on the eyes, for an easy eye look, for a blending shade in the crease. It's just a beautiful, rosy, bronzer kind of color. It's flattering and forgiving and doesn't accentuate texture. It's just a great product that I love either for an easy makeup day or pairing with other things. And I just use it in a lot of different ways. It's so good. Okay, I really, really like these. These are so cute. I am just all about a bright cheek. I mean, just a lot of blush. A lot of blush, I'm loving it. So again, I bought these under, under a listing on Amazon from Arende, the company Arende. Um, so these say long lasting, fantastic blusher. So I would say my standout favorite is the pink one, which is 01 uh, Milk Tea Pink. So I have this on my cheeks and then also on my lips. And I think this works great on the lips. I think this is just beautiful. It is a bubblegum pink, but it's pigmented and a good formula, easy to blend, has a little bit of a glow on the skin. It's just really flattering and beautiful. And then this one is Rose Powder. And this one's kind of like a, a bright raspberry sort of a color. It's really cute. It is pigmented. I just am very impressed with these. They have this little like, can't even get this off. This thing on the end, I don't use that. I use my own like small stipple brush from e.l.f. But I mean, it's there if you want to use it. And then this also, again, I bought it under Arende. I'll, I'll, I'll link all these things for you so you don't have to go try to find it. Um, but it says Lake Rain Beauty on it. I don't know. But this is the Velvet Liquid Blush and this is in the pink shade. This is beautiful. 
You don't need more than a dot of this on your cheeks. So definitely start with just a dot. You can always go back and add more if you think you need more, but it is a beautiful pigmented, um, just kind of like a bright pink, but with a like a slight raspberry tint to it. Apparently I'm into kind of raspberry tint products, but the pinks, the bright shades, and just an intense cheek. So I have all of these on my cheeks right now. I have this, well, I first started with this one, just a little bit of this kind of on the back of my cheeks and then kind of blend it out. Very, very little of this. Then this kind of more on the apples of my cheeks and then blend it out from there. And then the brighter shade a little bit lower and then kind of brought up into the other ones. They're just all so good. I just love this bright makeup look. Oh, I almost forgot my lip favorite for Friday favorites. So I would say for that, this combo that I'm wearing on my lips right now, this is just a bunch of random products put together, but I love how it all comes together. It's so pretty. So first off, the NYX uh, lip pencil, lip liner pencil in mauve. So that's what I have as my liner. Then I filled in my lips with LA Girl Precision, Perfect Precision Lip Liner in Pinky. So this is like mostly all over my lips. Just a little bit of this CoverGirl Simply Age Ageless Lip Flip Liner in Loving Rose. Kind of around as a lip liner, but then sort of blended into the middle. This has a little bit more of like a warmth and a depth to it. So I do feel like it kind of adds something to the lip combo. And then the bright, like this is a, the listing says you can use this on your eyes, your lips, um, and your cheeks. So then I put some of this like right on the middle of my lips and then kind of went back with a little bit of this to sort of blend it and tone it down a little bit. Cause this is very like light, bright bubblegum pink, but I just love this combo. Really cute pink combo. It's good. Okay. Skincare. I have a skincare favorite. I mentioned this recently. I love this brand, this Costa Baja, I get it on Amazon. It is so affordable. I mean, their stuff is like, I mean, it depends on the product, but maybe around 10 to $13, most of the things that I use. And I really, really like them. So um, I mentioned that I love niacinamide. So this one in particular, I mentioned this before, but I did want to mention it again. So it says, this is the Arbutin and Niacinamide. And it says for treating pigmentation, melasma, dark spot corrector, uh, prevent skin discoloration. So I have some kind of discoloration on my cheeks. So I'm, you know, kind of looking for products to address that. So I've been loving that. But then I also just got this one recently. Let me, let me get to the listing on this one so I can share what it says about this particular product. This is the Tranexamic, Tranexamic Acid and Niacinamide. And this says for face and the neck, helps to reduce the look of hyperpigmentation, discoloration, dark spots, and remove melasma. So similar kind of, you know, benefits of it. Um, like you want to fade acne marks, age spots. Um, it has other ingredients in it, which are too difficult for me to pronounce. It's like, I don't know, technical words. Um, yeah, I was going to try to read some other information but yeah reduces pigmentation long-term use is safe and i've said this before i love that their products come in different colored packaging that makes it so easy to kind of know what you're grabbing for and then when you you know use up a product and you go to purchase it again you're like now what was the name of it i mean you probably you would have it in your purchase history to be able to get it to it again but it just i love that they change the color of the packaging because then it's like oh yeah it's the lavender one oh yeah, my vitamin C is the orange label one. You know what I mean? It's just a little detail that I really appreciate. But yeah, everything is just affordable. I don't find that these irritate my skin. Um, I don't have overly sensitive skin, so just know that. But I've been really impressed with all the products that I've tried from them. I haven't found irritation. I love the price point. I love the packaging. And I like that they kind of mix different ingredients in there. So that it's kind of become a go-to brand for me if I want to... If I hear about a certain ingredient to address something, I'm like, ooh, I wanna try that. Then I'll go look and see if they have something with that ingredient in it, and a lot of times they do. So, skincare favorite. Okay, a body care favorite. I love this 
hand cream. It's a, technically a hand mask. I got this in one of my Ipsy Boxy Charms. This is from Fenty Skin, and this is the Hydra Reset Intensive Recovery Hand Mask. So I always try to remember to put something on my hands before I go to bed at night. Don't always remember, but I try to. This is really interesting because this is, I mean, it says hand mask for sure because it's definitely more than a cream. It has a texture and a consistency that is more like Vaseline. It's a very thick sort of a texture to it but it is so hydrating on the hands. I mean, I would just say, you know, get ready for bed, have everything done, have your alarm set, all the things before you put this on your hands. And I'll kind of like put it on the back of my hands and then rub my hands together like this to mainly keep it on the backs of my hands, but then I'll do it as a last step a little bit on the front of my hands or on like my palms because it's just very thick and it's like, you don't want to touch anything after it's on your hands. But it's really like a mask, like locking in that hydration and just really helping give your hands some more, you know, hydration. I mean, it's just good. It's, so if you're looking for something that is more than a hand cream, more intensive, I would say definitely try this. It's good. All right, attention to all my coffee lovers. My sister knows me so well. So for my birthday in April, she gave me like a books and coffee theme sort of gift, which was so sweet and just perfect for me because I love books and I love coffee. So she gave me this and several others to try from this brand. This is from Cafe Olay. You can get this at HEB. Um, and I think you can also get it on Amazon, but I think the, you know, the price is a little different, but yeah, Cafe Olay medium roast. So this one is my favorite. So I tried several different ones and she said this one's her favorite too, but she wanted to give me others to try as well. And they were all really good, but this one's my favorite, which is the taste of San Antonio, which I love cause I love San Antonio. And it says medium bodied with cinnamon, chocolate, and vanilla flavors. It is so good and it smells amazing. It is just, I don't even know how to describe it, but there's a ton of flavor to it without being, it doesn't taste sweet to me. Um, I add some creamer to it or half and half because I pretty much always do that. And it's just so good. So if you love a good coffee and you like those kind of, you know, flavors like a, if you like a medium roast that has cinnamon, chocolate and vanilla, I would definitely try this. It's so, so good. I went and got the 100 count box because I liked it so much. After she gave me these to try, I had to go back and get, I just keep this for like easy, having it like in the cabinet because the 100, 100 count box is big, but it's good. Okay, so let's talk about books. So I've got several to chat with you guys about, love talking about books. So I've got some Christian fiction to share and then this is a regular fiction. So this is not a clean read. It's got some cussing in it. It's got, I think, one or maybe two spicy scenes in it, but the, it's kind of towards the end of the book, or at least like two thirds or something like that. But this is by Lynn Painter. I've read several of her books now, and she's just a funny writer, and I, I like her writing style. Um, it's, yeah, it's just funny. So this starts with a storyline that I don't love to read about. So these people meet, they have a night together, um, and they just decide to, you know, be friends, but then they decide to make a love wager of who can find love first through this dating app that they both end up being on and they see each other on there and they start talking again. So they do this love wager of, okay, who's gonna, if I find love first, then I win this and by blah, blah, whatever, here's the wager. But then of course they end up getting closer, falling in love. So it's, it kind of ends up being a friendship to love storyline, which I love. I love like when they just have connection and banter and this just close friendship before they fall in love. It's really cute and sweet. But again, it's not a clean read if that's what you're looking for. Um, but I still really, really liked it. Okay. Now I am apparently really into time travel books. Like I, yeah. So uh, let's, how do I even, let's see. Okay. So I've already mentioned this one. I love this book. This is still probably my standout favorite for the year so far. Yeah, I would say yes, definitely my standout favorite read so far this year, which is When the Day Comes 
by Gabrielle Meyer. And then I read the sequel, but I'll get to that in a second. But I read these books, so let me get these in order here. I really like these too. So the Gabrielle Myers are still, Meyer books are still my favorites, but this is another time travel series that I'm really, really liking too. These are all Christian fiction. So this is by Jody Hedlund and this is the Waters of Time series. So I have never watched or read um, Outlander, but I've kind of heard the general premise of it. And this kind of sounds like or seems like it would be similar to that. Again, I haven't read or watched that, so I really don't fully know, but it seems like it's kind of similar. Um, but yeah, this is like a time travel back to the Middle Ages kind of storyline. And I really don't even want to share any more than that because I really didn't know much about it going into the first book. But once I got into it, I'm, I'm glad I didn't know the general premise of it because it kind of shocked me when I got to a main part of the storyline. And if you read the back of it, you're going to know what that is. I, I maybe had read it, but I had forgotten. So anyway, these are heavy romance. Like they're clean because they're Christian fiction, but there's a lot of focus on their connection. If you like angst, if you like... Um, pining for each other. There's a lot of that in these books and they just really draw you in. There's a lot of adventure. They're going back to the Middle Ages. So, I mean, there's just a lot of like knights and, you know, I don't know, trying to survive and storylines like that. So it really is very engaging. So if you like a heavy romance focused book and you like time travel and you like kind of adventure, I think you would like these. I don't, again, I don't want to go into the details of the other ones because I don't want to spoil anything for you. You can read the backs if you want more information, but they're just really good. And I would say, I think the first one is my favorite, probably then the second one. The third one I didn't like quite as much as these two, but I still enjoyed it. Okay, and then the sequel to When the Day Comes in this moment. These are just such good books. Again, I don't want to really share anything about this because I don't want to spoil anything from this one and how it ends. So I would say, I, like I even told my sister this, I wouldn't read the back of this one. Like if you know you like her writing style and you want to see where the story goes, I wouldn't even read the back of it. I would just go into it knowing you like her writing style and the storyline. But the basic premise of this one is that she lives in two different storylines, two different time periods, and then when she turns 21, she has to choose which one she wants to stay in for the rest of her life. So the story is kind of continuing with a different character in this book. And I feel like Gabrielle Meyer is just so good at writing a story that is a great mix of um, romance and love, but also friendship and family and faith. And it's just, a, and history, a lot of history. So there's just a really good mix of all the things. So it feels very like almost epic that you have a lot of different things going on in the storyline. It's just so good. I love these books. So those are standouts for sure. All right, you guys, so those are all my May favorites. So hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you have been loving, either makeup, skincare, hair care, random, home, fashion, books, whatever. I would love to hear your favorites. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.